Hello, today I'm replacing the fuel line on my Chrysler Crossfire SRT6. Uh, this fuel line, the rubber is not looking too good, it's kind of looking dry raw, the car has a lot of miles on it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it um, just, as, just for insurance because you never know and I definitely don't want my car catching on fire when I'm driving it, that would be really bad. So it's worth the $50 just to go ahead and replace this part. I also have a, speaking of insurance, I have a fire extinguisher just in case uh, a spark were to happen while I'm messing with the fuel line and um, I need to put out a fire. So I have this just in case. Then you can see over here, um, the fuel line attaches back here to the car. You need a, a 17 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench. And there's two nuts that need to get tightened together. So you're going to Put the 14 millimeter in the back, 17, 17 millimeter in the front, and you're just going to tighten these two together. And make sure it's nice and snug. This heat shield is a pain. I will go ahead and do this, um, and I will get back to you guys on the next part. Okay, I had to work with these a little bit to get them nice and snug, but you're going to pull them in opposite directions to get these two really, really tight next to each other. Nice and snug. There we go. Then we're going to take this end, and we're going to attach it to the fuel rail. So the first thing you're going to do is put it under your intake. Notice I have a towel down. Uh, you, you can't see it from this end. I have a towel down to make sure I catch any fuel. But you're going to take this and put it under your intake. Uh, you can also remove your intake to make it easier. I am going to, um, I actually removed my breather hose because this has to go under the breather hose. At least on the SRT6 slash SLK32 has to go under this breather hose or it won't fit. Okay, that's a better angle. Hi. So um, we're going to take this, uh, this is my breather hose I took off, and you're just going to, uh, carefully, um, this has to be twisted to where it, the bend is upwards, I don't know if you can see, it has to kind of um, have a valley right there, otherwise it's not going to fit on, it's kind of, kind of a beast to get on properly. So and you're going to screw this nut on by hand at first, and I'm going to have to Pause the camera why I think this is this is this is kind of a beast to get on okay so I went ahead and got this nut started by hand which is really important because you won't be able to do it um, with the wrench until then and you're gonna take the wrench the 17 millimeter wrench and just tighten it really tight and then you're done and that's it